Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about another feature within the Cardano ecosystem. So if you've visited the Y Cardano website, there's a lot of information about this project, you'll find something called Sojourn's End. And basically this is the idea that there are going to be multiple layers within the Cardano ecosystem. Right now we have two layers, but with the additions of side chains, you can consider it layers on top of layers on top of layers. But I'm going to tell you why I think that this is important and I think that people overlook this. I'm going to tell you why I think certain cryptocurrencies, other cryptocurrencies, should follow a similar model. So this idea of Sojourn's End, I know you hear it about, I hear about it a lot, not Sojourn's End, but you hear this idea of the Cardano SL and the Cardano CL. So these, these stand for basically the computational layer versus the settlement layer. Okay, so the settlement layer, this is the payment layer. This is the accounting layer. This is I send five ADA to you, you receive five ADA. All of the accounting principles that, are, that deal with Cardano inside this ecosystem, everything that happens within the blockchain. And on the opposite side, you have Cardano, the computational layer. This is where the smart contracts are going to be um, are going to be built. This is where the financial contracts are going to be built. All of the manipulation between one party, party A and party B, this is where the trust is going to be built. So this is where things get more advanced. This is where we can do some sort of escrow that we're talking about, like similar to what Marlowe's working on. This is where we're going to be able to um, companies are be, going to be able to build blockchains, their own versions of their cryptocurrency on top of the computational layer. So the computational layer and the settlement layer are two different things. But this is why it's important. You know, when you think about regulation and when you think about cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, you always hear of this triple entry bookkeeping, triple accounting system. There are many words for it, but it's this idea that's you know, the accounting system is verified by a third party and, you know, validator nodes all over the place are storing copies of the ledger. So no one can can no one can necessarily um, these transactions are immutable. So no one can go inside the ledger and change the information without compromising the system and being kicked out because other nodes recognize that this is a not this is not a valid transaction. But. I think that the accounting layer needs to be completely separate because when you're thinking about regulation, when you're thinking about working within the legacy system, all this metadata, they, it shouldn't, um, all this metadata shouldn't be combined. The, the metadata from financial contracts shouldn't be combined with the settlement layer because it, it, there's some obfuscation there. So there's, there's some ability to not exactly know what's going on. The legacy system needs a complete an accurate picture of what's going on within the settlement layer versus the computational layer. In certain industries, they may want to only know information within a certain layer inside the Cardano ecosystem. There's no need to know all the information for every single transaction, every single smart contract that happens within the ecosystem if you really don't need it. It's a waste of energy, waste of resources, it's a waste of space. So this idea of separating the layers is wonderful. And in the future, layers are going to be built on top of these layers, these additional, uh, these existing layers. And you can consider those like side chains. They're going to be building on top of the computational layer, building additions to the settlement layer. Everything is going to be modular. And the great thing with modular is that you don't have to you don't have to rip up the entire tree in order to see what's happening block by block. You know, it's like it's like a Lego structure. You built a you, you built a gigantic Lego structure, but it is like it's hinging on one piece, right? So that one piece, the base is one piece and you build it up. If you take that bottom piece out, the entire structure collapses. Rather, building a strong base that's that's distribute it. If you take a little block out to analyze, um, to analyze that block, it doesn't really, it doesn't really mess with the rest of the blocks in the system and it doesn't topple the entire structure. So we are building a modular block blockchain here, which is extremely exciting because it's the, it's, it's very clean. It's very clean. And it, the legacy system is going to be able to understand exactly what's going on within this ecosystem. 
regardless of all who we're working with, we have this transparency of what's happening with the, inside the ecosystem, as well as providing security and immutable transactions and decentralization. So I'm excited to see what you think. What do you think the, the future use cases of the Cardano CL and the Cardano SL, Cardano computational layer and Cardano settlement layer are? What are you looking forward to most? Once again, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It, it, it helps a lot. And thank you again. And um, until the next video, I have some cool video ideas that I'm thinking of and um, I'm, I'm working on them. Thank you.